In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. What happened today? Okay. Just forget about. So, <clears throat> let us now acknowledge our sin and ask God for mercy, for love. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. First book of Kings. Yeah. Nabat the Jezreelite had a vineyard in Jezreel next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Nabat, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by, next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, A fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up. Eat and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and king. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation. Naboth has cursed God and king. And they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is not alive but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Be 
Our responsorial psalm is, Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord, attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. This is so nice and this is so clear for us, but I'm, I'm afraid we can't, we can't do this all the time. Turn the other cheek if they slap you on this cheek, you know. Don't return evil for evil, but good for evil. And so at this moment, as you know that there's so much going on again, and often time, we give ourselves all kinds of reasons to, to make it even or to make our voice heard. And the way we portray it, the way we do it is not right. Even though we use the name of justice to do it, it's not right. Think about this gospel today. Nobody could say that Jesus, this is not justice. This is not right. This is not fair. But in the long run, it works. In the long run, there is justice. There is unity. So I think we need to pray very hard Hard to the point that we have to let the, the angry man could hear us. It's hard. Because if not, we, we keep fighting. We keep turning upside down and burning everything. And I mean, building is hard. It takes forever to build a house like this. But it could take only half of the day to burn everything down. I don't know. I feel like, I don't want to say we're wasting so much energy and even money to burn down everything. And then we start building up again. I don't see God's will in that. I don't see God's will in that. I think God is very worried for us because we're getting worse and worse. Worse and worse. And so today, my brothers and sisters, 
What can we do besides praying? Besides being silent? Besides withdraw ourselves in a silent room and close the door? I think we need to be very careful if we have a chance to speak up, speak with confidence, but at the same time with calm, with gentleness, with patience. Because if not, we turn into another beast, another beast. They say that a man with a gun is like a beast without gun. And that, I think, said by Martin Luther King Jr. Amen. Please stand and we raise all our needs and the needs of our world today. We pray for our world today, especially our own country here. That we'll be able to listen to one another, sacrifice a little bit our comforts and our power, our control, whatever it is, for the sake, not just for the other, for the sake of the next generation, we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves here in Baton Rouge, in St. Jared, that we continue to be the disciples of Jesus using this formula, non-violence, sacrificial, die to ourselves, to build the community, to build the society. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who still struggle with the coronavirus. We pray for the end of this, of course. We continue to pray for the people aware of this, of this danger, of this deadly virus among us. We pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for, for your patience, for your grace, for your love. Continue to help us in our ways so that we continue to build this place as a, for your kingdom, for your worship place. We pray all this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are your Lord God of our creation. Through your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you food in the earth and walk in human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, to your goodness we have received this wine to offer you food of the vine, work in human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Lord. 
O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with our one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Jared, redemptive saints and blessed, and with all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. continue to trust in Jesus, in our God, those for our peace and unity here. And so together we say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be free. Please say the spiritual communion with me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Communion interphone, 
This is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Right after this, we have a distribution of the food, so if you have a time to uh, volunteer and to help out, please do so. Second, tomorrow we uh, start our novena to a uh, mother to help right before Mass, and so hopefully uh, we have, uh, you know, keep coming to, uh, or tell your people to uh, tune in or come over and then do so. Uh, we start at 9 a.m., okay, so uh, do that. And also tomorrow, Around 10 o'clock, my cousin and a couple of people will come here and to sanitize and sweep the, the church again. And so if you have time, just come over. Uh, come over around 10 o'clock to sweep, mop, sanitize again to make sure everything smells good and safe. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The message ended, let us go in peace.